What's up guys, ViperPV here, and it's been a hot minute since I've came out with a review video, and ViFly was so nice to go ahead and send out this product for review. Uh, this is the GPS Mate right here. We're gonna be going over the bench, I'm gonna show you guys how to wire it up, and pretty much why you would actually need it. Yes, it is a mate for your GPS. No, it does not make a baby or do anything stupid like that. Uh, really, what it is is a power pretty much supply for your GPS modules, and it has an ability to be able to have buzzer features and whatnot, so your GPS pretty much stays on when you want it to, and you can put it on before you even arm or even put the battery on the quad, so you can get satellite locks and be able to fly right away instead of having to wait, you know, sometimes five to ten minutes to be able to acquire satellites. Uh, because if you are using a GPS on an FPV drone, yeah, it does, it is a little frustrating. Um, but what we're going to be showing you here in this video is I'm going to show you all about this ViFly GPS Mate, how to wire it up, and exactly how it functions. So let's go ahead and head over to my bench and uh, let's start going ahead and taking a look at the ViFly GPS Mate. All right, so we have the ViFly GPS Mate. It comes in this little tiny case here. And we're just going to open up and we're going to take a first look at it. Take a look to see what it looks like. So here we go. We have a little buzzer that it does have. I have a little LiPo battery in there, a little 1S little LiPo to keep it, have it. And it pretty much charges off of your battery, um, off your flight controller. Um, as we can see here, let me see if I can get this thing a little closer. Um, pretty much it's like a pass-through for your GPS. As you can see, it has video out, TX, RX, ground, SC, SD, that goes to the GPS. And then on the right, we have ground, receive, TX, 5 volts, 8 all, uh, you know, all the connections for the flight controller to the GPS. Um, if you are using a compass with the GPS, you do have to use these soldering pads. Um, if you don't have a compass, you can just go ahead and you can just use the harnesses that it has right here and here. So you just connect the ones that it comes with right here. One can go right into the GPS. You don't have to worry about soldering that or messing with it. And then the other one to the flight controller, you just go ahead and plug it in and just solder the other leads to your um, flight controller. Pretty simple. I'll go ahead and wire it up here in a second to show you guys. And here is the wiring diagram right here. So it comes with all the instructions and everything that you do need. So if you do get confused, this is the exact wiring diagram. This is how you'd wire it up. The quad I'm going to be using for this video is my 7-inch long-range drone. Let's go ahead and zoom out so you guys can see it really quick. Already had the top plate off. Already had the GPS out. This is the GPS that I've been using in it. Have a whole bit build, um, pretty much series of videos on GPS and getting it set up in beta flight. If you're interested in getting like uh, GPS rescue mode and all that stuff, I'll leave a link to that video down below and also leave a little card up here in the video. So if you want to check that out, um, this is the race day quads. Little tiny GPS. It's super light. I think it's less than, I don't even know if it'll even weigh on my scale. Eh, maybe it's a few, gram, a few grams. I'll leave a link to this down below too if you're interested in checking out a GPS module. Really quick before I tuck this thing in the quad, I wanted to point out a couple uh, buttons and switches on this. Uh, right here, we have a selector for three volts and five volts. So you can just click that up to put it up on five volts if your GPS is a five volt GPS or three volts if it is a three volt GPS. Mine is three volts. So we're gonna go ahead and put it like that and then we also do have a button right here this is what you do to turn it on and turn it off uh, but we'll talk about that more once I get this put into the quad all right so I got it all wired up here got it connected to the GPS here and then I also do have it wired to the flight controller right here this is a brain FPV this is the first one really good flight controller still great and so I'm going to connect up First we can do is we can actually just turn it on if you want and you can just hit the, actually I think I have to connect the battery first. So let's go ahead and give it a little boost charge. And as you can see, it actually did beep already too. Um, if you want to use the beeper function to make it beep, you do have to set that up in beta flight and just adding a switch. Pretty simple. And then we do have um, GPS, it's already powered up, but let's go ahead and uh, 
disconnect the battery so then we can check out. So you can either hold this to shut it off. Like so. Or you can go ahead. The preferred way they say to go ahead and shut it off is let me go ahead and redo the battery again. Let it power up for a second. And then um, what you do is you can disconnect the battery. So now it's still on. And this will stay on for 15 minutes or so. Um, so say um, you lose your quad, the beeper will actually start working. I think it says here uh, GPS may, yeah, every 10 seconds until it's turned off. So this will go up to 15 minutes if you do locate your quad, uh, lose your quad and whatnot. Um, but let's go ahead and disarm it. So what we're going to do is we're going to just one second and then it beeps like that and it's shut off. So you can either use the button to shut it off or you can go ahead and disconnect the battery, whatever way you want to do, depending on how accessible you have it into your quad. Um, it is really cool and really handy. Um, I'm going to be using this thing, as you can tell, on my quad and I'll be leaving a link to this build down below. So that brings me to my conclusion of the video of what I finally think of the ViFly GPS Mate. Um, if you are pretty annoyed and you change locations a lot with your drone and you just can't stand the five or 10 minute satellite getting them picked up every single time, this might be a product for you to go ahead and pick up. It does have some additional functions like I did, said before. It has the beeper. Uh, if you don't have a beeper on your drone already, this does kind of fill that void. Uh, and it does have that little bit of peace of mind having that battery backup on the GPS module. So it will have actually its own power supply technically. Um, but still, um, if the you know the drone shuts off or something like that, you will still not be able to get the GPS coordinates, but at least you'll have the last known location because you are using a GPS. Uh, but this is pretty much it for the video. Um, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and comment down below. Uh, give it a like, subscribe. But this is Viper FV, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.